please observe, just ahead is a strange woman wearing a pirate hat. Caution, you are approaching the end of the conveyor. Please prepare to have a danger to herself and people around her. So we'll follow closely and see what this young lady gets up to. So a bit of trouser trouble there, I don't know if you noticed. We must follow with caution. She could be unpredictable. I'm going to back away. <laughs> it appears she's going down the toy aisle. It's just been said that she believes this to be a pet of hers. It's actually a toy. But she's under the impression it's a real animal and people don't have her the heart to tell her otherwise. She's now having a conversation with this creature, as you can see, placing him back. Oh no, placing him back in the box. And what will she do next? Is she stable enough? That clap obviously means something to her. <laughs> She's now laughing and dancing about something. She she can see me. I don't know if that's safe or not. She's she's obviously enjoying herself. Don't know why or what she's doing. She's dancing and clicking her fingers, clapping also. Oh, bit of a foot shuffle there, and she's now stopped. On we go. Follow her carefully. Just make sure that she doesn't cause harm towards anyone. We've lost her, we've lost her, we've lost her. And she's back on film. Here we are in the section of the shop where they sell certain items for cars. She seems to be under the impression that she's driving. It's quite worrying actually. She's quite obviously not driving anything. quite possible that she's under full belief this is entirely real. Yes, she is quite mental. She's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is definitely mental. That is established highly. She looks very pleased with herself there. And a bit worn out if I may say so. What's she looking at? What I'm going to do when I get home, I'm going to put snail in the microwave. Snail in the microwave, I think, is what she just said. We hopefully will not be there to witness that. Must be careful around this member of staff now. Hopefully, she won't do anything irrational. I think she's referring to this cardboard here. Cycling is obviously important to her. That's obviously, it's obviously a message for all the single mothers out there who can't be asked to take their waste to the bin or skips like any normal respectful person should do. So although this girl obviously seems to be quite demented, I can agree with her on that note. She's now sitting down at what I can only gather she assumes to be a restaurant and 
conversing with an imaginary person, as you do. Oh, it's time for her to go. <clears throat> She's now venturing into the veg and salad section. Walking through quite calmly. She stopped at the onion. She's making rather a rude gesture with these onions, thinking it's funny, obviously. We are not amused here in television world. Oh, yeah, that's original. Oh. <laughs> seem to like that one. Can't quite tell you why, but there we are. It's just the way it is sometimes. The train space she just pulled there, that was um, highly strange, but uh, we don't tell her this because we don't want her to get upset. <laughs> that was quite weird. I think that's some form of communication that she's trying to get through to me. <clears throat> gentleman and his girlfriend are still here. God knows why he's with her, but there you go. The large bag that she carries, I do believe, is filled with all her worldly possessions. She gets very distressed if you try and take it from her. She's now heading down the barbecue aisle where they have gardening supplies and such. threatening me with a pitchfork, I'm backing away swiftly. I know when I'm not wanted. I said, stop the video. Stop it right there.